Hey. Hey? It's a party tonight on the roof. And this concerns me. Why? Well, you can't study all the time, Emma. This is Jordy, my new roommate. Roommate? Let me get this straight. They gave you a roommate. I must be dying, right? Looks like you're gonna have a single soon. What are you in for? I have a problem with my leg. It's got to go tomorrow. Would you get to keep it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm planning to freeze it. Like wedding cake. Right, I'll take it out every year for a walk. Get it a tattoo, go shoe shopping. God, that is sick even for me. You're seriously twisted. Not everybody appreciates it. You should come tonight. Let's go. Jordy! Everyone thinks that when you go to a hospital, they say to really understand someone, you have to walk a mile in their shoes. But some shoes are harder to walk in than others. Maybe because some people don't want to let you in. And some people, especially those of the one shoe variety, wouldn't know how to let you in even if they did want to. The shoe metaphor basically boils down to empathy, but in order to appreciate how other people might be feeling, you have to be able to understand your own feelings, and that gets tricky. Especially since most kids my age work hard to pretend they don't have any feelings. Feelings just aren't cool, unless you're in a coma, like me, in which case, Feelings are all you've got. And it's Leo Roth for the win. The crowd goes wild. Ladies flash their fun bags in deference. Woo! Yeah, because that happens in golf. Are you sure this isn't gonna break your new leg? Uh, yeah, would that be so terrible? Parents might think so, seeing as they're the ones who paid for it. Also, your physical therapist will probably have an opinion on the subject. Speaking of which, aren't you meant to be working with him right now? Well, aren't you the mother hen? No wonder you two broke up. Hashtag Rexy ain't sexy. Guys, do you have any idea what's happening right now? Climate change? No peace in the Middle East. Pregnant Kardashian? Jordy's about to lose his leg. Oh, you meant like now, now. Can you just think about it for a second? Every morning you get out of bed, put two feet on the ground and stand up. Like it's easy, like it's nothing. You put your pants on one leg at a time. I mean, it's such a basic concept, it's literally an expression. It means you're just like everybody else. Except me and Jordy. We're not like anybody else. Oh, so having cancer gives you the right to hurl golf balls in any direction, causing potential head wounds on unsuspecting Angelinos? I'm just saying, today's all about Jordy, and we need to be there for him. Yeah, well, I have a stress test to worry about. Later, losers. With Kara, what they should measure is how much stress she causes other people. Didn't you just go home? What are you doing back? I missed you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone fell out. And when I find out who that someone is... I will have them killed. Mm-hmm. Hey, have you seen Leo? He's supposed to be upstairs working the new leg, but the PT says he hasn't shown up. Yeah, I know. He's waiting for Jordy to wake up from surgery. Kenji! I'm <sighs> sorry. Look, I tried to get him to go, but he looked at me with the eyes, the eyebrows, and that little bald head. You can't let a little bald head interfere with your job. We got a lot of little bald heads running around this place. It's our responsibility to set healthy boundaries for these children. Two words. Monkey, love. I'm going to need more than two words. Well, technically, it's a study. And there are monkeys involved. More faster. Well, they gave the monkeys two dummy parents, one for feeding and one for hugging. Mm -hmm. And even though the feeding parents were seemingly more important, the monkeys almost always chose the hugging one. Because, you know, the love. So I'm the food in this scenario? Yes. And you're the love. Well, it's a theory. I'm not saying it's perfect. 
Uh -huh. Okay, well, here's my theory. Starving monkeys die. You make a strong point. Check this out. Alpha beta ball sack, man. Must be a game day. Yo, is it me or do they all look exactly the same? Same stupid hair, same stupid clothes. Looks like somebody roided up one direction and mated them with zombies. I think that's kind of the point, you know? Safety in numbers, pack mentality. It's not the worst thing ever. Yo, man, you know I'm not calling you stupid, right? Hey, I probably was, but whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Leo Roth! You're late for physical therapy. Did you forget what floor it's on? Because I'm happy to escort you. As soon as he's out, I'll go. That's not how this works. I tried to tell him, but the young man does not have his listening ears on today. This is you helping? Diverting attention. Strategy. Look, I know the new leg is uncomfortable. It's more than uncomfortable. It hurts. I don't like walking in it. That's because you haven't had enough practice. Jordy's gonna be unconscious for the next few hours, so there's no point in you hanging around here. You need to be upstairs right now. No, I need to be here. Jordy's entire life is about to change, and I'm the only one who knows just how much and how bad it's gonna be. So I plan on being the first face he sees when his eyes open, because that was the deal we made. Okay? I'm rescheduling you for five o'clock. Nurse Jackson. That's my final offer. Tough love. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up for me. I didn't want to take any chances. <laughs> Here's what's happening now. We're waiting for the blood bank to get their act together, and the anesthesiologist is gonna come in here and he's gonna do his thing. But while that's happening, I want you to do something for me. What is it? I need you to pick a happy memory. Right sometime in your life where everything went right. You think you can do that? I'm on it. All right, good. Emma, huh? So Jordy's thinking about Emma, but something else is weighing on Emma's mind. Time for your weigh-in. See what I did there? I just need to brush my teeth. Oh, don't forget to brush your tongue. That's where the bacteria live. Sure you don't want any water? Are you sure you want to keep asking me that every five seconds? Because it's not remotely annoying. You're doing great, Carol. We're ready to pick up the pace now. Just because you're ready doesn't mean I'm ready. I'm only two days into a blowout, and a single bead of neck sweat could cause a full-on frizz. And then you'd owe me 60 bucks. She's a generous tipper. The stress test is meant to gather information about how well your heart works during physical activity. Assuming you have a heart. Biting sarcasm from the guy wearing Crocs. Like I said, it always comes back to the shoes. So Dr. Samuel says I can go to this theoretical physics program at Yale this summer if I gain 10 pounds. Oh. We've been talking about it a lot during therapy. Oh. OK. Ready when you are. <gasps> Look at that. You gained a pound. Good work, Emma. 
I am so proud of you. Yeah, we're done here. Stay. So, gained a full pound, huh? That's exciting. You know, the Queen of England used to sew weights to the hems of her dresses to keep them from blowing up in the wind. I got the needle if you got the thread. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Oh, good. There you are. You have visitors, Kara. Is it Brady? Courtney? It's your mom's. All right, you got that memory picked out? I think so. Back in Mexico, I won my school's talent show. I sang the song I wrote. It's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, we're gonna start the induction now, and I want you to focus on that song. It'll keep you in a good place during surgery, okay? All right, on my count. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. A hundred yards off the gravel road. Skipping school, a life we all imagined. Days went by, we'd hardly even know. Hey, Jordy. Down here. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your song. It's just I wasn't sure how much time we have. I'm Charlie. I was in surgery. You still are. This is just a mental break. Can I interest you in some checkers, or are you more of a boggle kind of guy? You're the kid in the coma. Yeah. Unfortunately, that has become my most identifiable characteristic. Am I dead? No, no, you're not dead. I'm here to help you take your mind off things while they fix you out there. Are you okay? What's happening to me? I feel dizzy. Why am I dizzy? Right here, Jordy. Right here. Jordy? Damn it. There is significant soft tissue involvement. It's extending further proximally. Are we going ahead no. with the AKA? No, new plan. Get this sample to path for a frozen section now. It looks like his cancer is spread. So if you're just checking in, these are Kara's moms, Sarah and Daniela. Sorry, Kara Bear. We never would have gone to Cabo if we didn't know. It was just kind of a crazy spur of the moment thing. Yes, yeah, so it was my heart attack. They explained it as some kind of cardiac event. She has an enlarged heart. That's what we're dealing with, right? Uh, yeah, I can have a doctor come in and take you through it if you like. Like I'm gonna endure that again, email it to her. Look, I'm sorry that I interrupted your romantic getaway with my nanny. What? Dads fall for the nanny all the time. Why not moms? I really wish you wouldn't say stuff like that, Kara. Your mom and I are married now. We're, we're family. Thanks for the reminder, but you'll always be the help to me. Hey, you best cap that attitude, young lady. We need to focus on the matter at hand, which is getting you a brand new heart. Do you take plastic? Smart, get the miles. Mom! Doesn't quite work that way. Well, if it's about connections, just tell us who we need to talk to. We share a trainer with Ellen and Portia. God. We can get you tickets to our show. It's even better live. Everything you're saying is amazing on a number of levels. However, in order for your daughter to get on the wait list for a heart, her case first needs to be reviewed by the transplant team. Wait, what? Mom? What does that mean? Do I have to, like, do stuff? Let me handle this. I know there's a list, but there's also the list. What do people like us do? You get on the list. There's only one. Preferential treatment doesn't exist in the organ donation community. Listen, girlfriend, we didn't become Out Magazine's seventh most powerful lesbian couple in Southern California by working our way up a freaking list. Now tell me who I have to call to get a quality ticker around here. This is gonna be a fun day. Well, this is rude. Hey. Good morning. Oh, although technically, I guess it's afternoon. Depends on when you eat lunch, right? I've always been more of a noon kind of gal. I'm in a hurry. Oh, right. Uh, I just wanted to share some great news. Emma gained weight. Since when? Since today. Don't worry, I was encouraging, but tough on her. I just asked myself, WWNJD? But would Nurse Jackson do? Nurse Jackson. NJ. <laughs> Here's what NJ would do. She'd check Emma's pockets, subtract the weight of her clothes, consider her food intake the last week, which is in no way consistent with the game. Did you do any of that? No. Didn't think so. Adjust her weight on the chart. Lucky love of my ass. Hi. 
Hey. Hey. What's going on, Dash? How are you? Nothing, Mitch. Just chilling, living. You? Hi, Dash. Oh, hey, how are you? So is he still in surgery? He is. No word yet. It's not the band I gave you last night. Yeah, um, I, I lost the one that you gave me. It slipped off my wrist. So who gave you? Jordy. Damn! Oh, my bad. I mean, thank you. Oh, good, you're all here. How'd it go? Is he okay? Jordy's in recovery. He's good. He did, uh, he did real well. So can we see him? Uh, he's still on there, so shouldn't be too much longer. Do you guys mind if I talk to Leo for a second in private? In a hospital, whenever someone says they want to talk to you in private, it's never good news. Hey, <clears throat> what's up? All right, look, as you know, no two cases, no two tumors are the same. Even if things seem similar on the outset, we never know what we're going to find until we get in there. In Jordy's case, it was a little more complicated than we expected, and I didn't do the surgery that I went in to do. Uh, meaning what? Oh. You didn't cut off his leg, did you? No, but... Did Jordy get to keep his leg? One of the hardest things in a hospital is to have someone else get exactly what you wanted. I didn't know you did sad. Having kind of a crap day. Sorry for cursing. All right, what happened? I messed up Emma's weigh-in. And now Nurse Jackson, who already thinks I'm useless, doesn't trust me to do anything. She wouldn't even let me take a kid's blood pressure. She'll ease up eventually. Well, maybe she shouldn't. Maybe she's right. What if I suck at this? And what if you don't? Are you really prepared to let me screw up some sick kid's life on the off chance that I won't continue to suck? I mean, it's not like being bad at real estate. Worst case scenario, a bad realtor can't kill anyone. It would be very difficult for you to kill anyone, Brittany. Look, I hear what you're saying. You know, some days I wish I followed my father into finance, but you know what? My heart wouldn't be in it. This is a calling. I'm not sure I got the call. If I did, it wasn't like, 911, we need you. It was more like, no. hey, Brent, what's up? You wanna come over? I gotta go. Oh. Yeah. How do you tell a kid with no parents who drove across the border to be saved? that you might not be able to save him. I think our first order of business is to raise awareness, go viral, Instagram, Twitter, Vine, and then a hashtag to put it to bed. Well, what about an event? Talk to me. Two words, soul cycle. I'm listening. Do you remember when Jen had the event at the Beverly Hilton? All that nonsense on our face. I've never seen Kara this quiet. You'd think it'd be a welcome change, but it's kind of making me sad. And I'm already in a coma. It's hard to bum me out. I think yeah, she was, was drunk. <laughs> okay, but what were we fighting for? She's such a bitch. Not that we were able to tell. You remember Ride for Rosacea? <gasps> yes. People love to sweat for a good cause. By the time we dismounted those bikes, her skin had the luster of a freshwater pearl. I've got it. Hashtag heart and soul. <gasps> oh my god. Write that down. Are Write you that down right now. Are me? <gasps> Kara, what do you think? Oh. Wait. Should we go look for her? In a second. You're trying my salted ice cube diet, aren't you? What do you want, Kara? If you're looking for children's souls, try the NICU. You have a bunch of weeklies I haven't read yet. Take them. They're all yours. You could also use a quiet place to read them. Oh, I don't think so. Why not? Because I don't like you. So? I can eat your lunch for a whole week if you want. And this way, the next time you gain weight, they might actually believe you. You can stay in my room for 20 minutes if you tell me why you're really here. What do you care why? I don't care but I'm trying. 
called empathy. Okay, fine. I'm avoiding Nurse Jackson. She's totally out to get me for, like, no reason. By Nurse Jackson, do you mean your power lesbian moms? Well, sorry, we didn't all grow up on a very special episode of Seventh Heaven. Why do you have to be like that? Like you don't care? I mean, try being honest for a change. You can start by telling me one true thing about yourself. She snores, she hoards Cheetos, that blowout of hers is all extensions. I could go on. Can I ask you a question first? Depends how insulting it is. Did your dad seriously make you wear that shirt? <laughs> he didn't make me. I wanted to. We had the made for our annual Memorial Day camping trip. So you, like, do stuff with your parents outside of therapy? We used to do a lot together. But when I got sick, it became totally focused on my disorder. What I was eating, how skinny I became. Everything shifted from our family to just me. That actually sounds nice. My mom's only interested in me when it benefits her. You just bought yourself 20 minutes. Dr. McKenzie, Jordy, hey man, you did great. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought. Well, we ended up taking a different route in surgery. What does that mean? I did not take off your leg. Wait, what? Oh my God, you saved my leg. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Listen, Jordy, Jordy, oh, I think I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Right, hey, listen, just close your eyes, take a deep breath. There you go. I'm gonna talk about this later, okay? The only thing worse than finding out that someone's test results are worse than you expected is having to tell them. What are you doing in here? What's your problem? She's leaving in three minutes. I'll come back then. Wait, have you seen Jordy? How is he? He's great. We've got to keep his leg. Oh, my God. He must feel like crap. Leo's not like that. I mean, of course he's happy for Jordy. Oh, are you, Leo? Are you so, so happy for Jordy right now? Do you work hard to be this mean, or does it come naturally to you? I have a better question. Why is it that the two most eligible bachelors in this hellhole can only sport wood for a bag of bones? Yeah, you can leave now. What's going on here? I'm out of here. Where to? Somewhere normal. A place where I can just be like everybody else. Not without me, man. Uh, I'm gonna get changed real quick. <sighs> Looks like Leo's finally gonna walk a mile. Or just across the street. Something is not right with me. Something is not right with me. Something is not right with me. How was I supposed to know? You know, sometimes things are better in theory than they are in practice. This is not one of those times. So, getting to keep his leg was actually a bad thing. I mean, I'm still waiting for the on team to review all the past, but this is not an osteosarcoma. What does Jordy know? I was so happy he got to keep his leg, I couldn't, couldn't go there yet. How is Leo taking it? Not as well as you'd expect. I should probably talk to Leo, too. You okay? Yeah, you know, usually I see 99 patients in a row and I'm fine. This kid comes in alone, no family, trying to save his own life, and it just sneaks up on you. Just figure out how you're going to break the news to Jordy. I'll deal with Leo. No, you don't have to do that. Not am I. No, really, it's fine. You don't want me talking to Leo. What? Of course I do. I just, I know, I know how busy you are. You think I can't be nice? I'd like to start over, if I may. I bet you would. Jackass. See, that, 
is not nice. I just can't believe that you've never seen the Hunger Games. It's like seriously the greatest thing that's ever happened. It's not possible. Why not? Because you're seriously the greatest thing that's ever happened. Oh my God. That's true. That's like the most amazing thing anyone has ever said to me in my entire life. And I don't even think Jennifer Lawrence is that hot. Emma, you haven't seen Leo lately, have you? I can't find him anywhere. He was in my room a while ago. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Probably. We already got a crap load of free pressed juice. What I'm looking for is some transpo. Thanks again, Linz. You're the best. Love you. Kiss, kiss. You must be Kara's moms. I'm Emma. I'm Sarah. This is Daniela. Nice to meet you. Are you friends with Kara? Friends is a strong word. I'd say we're more like acquaintances. Similar in age. Female. Aren't you adorable? Love that dainty shampoo. Thank you. Do you guys have a minute to talk about Kara? Is she bullying you? Actually, yes, but that's not what I'm worried about. She's going through a lot right now and could really use your support. Oh, yeah, that's why we're here. Have you heard about our campaign to raise awareness for Kara's condition? Hashtag heart and soul. It was Sarah's idea. She's a marketing genius. I'm actually talking about a different kind of support. Not that your campaign isn't great, it's just. What I think Kara needs right now is someone to listen to her. You know, as Theodore Roosevelt said, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. She is one smart cookie. Too bad she won't eat a cookie. She needs her parents. You're right. You're absolutely right. Thank you so much for talking to us about that, Emma. Anytime. We gotta get her to tweet. Where the hell is everybody? I'm waiting on updates on the kid. Oh, by the way, that's Ruben. He's a hippie hypochondriac who lives here at the hospital. Say that three times fast. The kid is out of surgery, and Leo's out of the building. How do you know? He took his shoes, both of them, and he wore his leg. Well, I'll be damned. Good for him. Kenji! Oh. You rang. We need to find Leo Roth now. I think you burst my eardrum. This is Colette. Guys, this is Leo. Hi, I'm, I'm Leo. This is Sandra. Hi, Kyle. Leo, man. It's time to fleece this function. <laughs> I can't believe he said that. This guy's so funny. I love him. He's like my brother. Oh, is that leg hurting? Oh, I'm fine. Look, oh, man. Emma just texted me asking where you were, and Jackson is on the hunt, so... So go home. I'm not gonna leave you. You can't even walk back by yourself. Why are you being such a dick? Hey, Leo. Chill out, man. No, you need to chill out. I don't want you here. I don't need you here. I'm all good. I think he wants you to go. Yeah, I got that. See you later, brother. Kara, oh, hey. hey. <laughs> we want to talk to you. Mm. Mm -mm. We wanted to apologize. Um, okay. We've been really neglectful. And we've been so consumed with your campaign that we haven't even focused on the person that matters most. This event is in your honor, and we haven't even included any of your hospital friends. I don't have any friends here. Well, what about Emma? We were just talking with her about you. <laughs> you were talking to Emma about me? Behind my back? Well, not behind your back. Okay, You're stop it, Kara. I mean... Don't let your jealousy ruin what could ultimately be a very beneficial relationship. But if anything, you should strive to be a bit more like Emma. She's poised, smart, she pulls out those chic hats. She could be exactly what you need to appeal to that stupid transplant board. You have got to be kidding me. 48 hours into labor, I knew that kid was gonna be a problem. The only thing harder than breaking out of a hospital? You're breaking back in. Hello, Dash. Hey, Brittany. Mm, don't even try to sweet talk me. Nurse Jackson is looking for Leo, and I know you know where he is. I do. Oh. 
So let's go tell Nurse Jackson. I have a better idea. You bony bitch. Nice to see you, too. You know, I expect my cheer squad to stab me in the back because, honestly, they were mostly raised by wolves, but I didn't expect this crap from you. Once again, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about my mom and her latest obsession. You? No, you. She thinks you're adorable and perfect, and she said I should strive to be more like you. She actually used the word strive, which makes me want to gag. Hey, I want to gag. Look, I'm more like you already. Yeah, well, I'm not bulimic. Oh, same difference. Most girls I know would kill to have an eating disorder. And most girls I know would kill you. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I was genuinely just trying to get your mom to listen to you. Well, she's never going to change. Maybe not, but there's still hope for you. This morning, you opened up a little bit, and honestly, it made me see you a little differently. Like, a lot prettier? Inside. I used to think your soul was black, but now it's more of a charcoal gray. My point is, you can change your relationship with your mom, too. Yeah, right. Maybe try being honest about how you feel. You know, tell Daniela one true thing and see what happens. Daniela is not my mom. She's my former nanny turned step monster. Really? That's so weird. I thought that. What? Never mind. Say it. Never mind. Oh, um... That's okay, Hassan. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't. What's wrong? I said stop. What's your problem? I don't have a problem. You're the one acting like a slut. Um, I'm sorry. Wait, Elise. Wait, Elise. I got your text. You okay? You know where Leo is? Leo. Leo said he'd come to see me after my surgery, but he hasn't been here all day. He knows about my leg, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does. Probably hates me, right? I don't blame him. I'd hate me, too. All right, look, uh, Jordy. I need to talk to you about what we saw during your surgery. I thought it went well. I thought that's why I got to keep my leg. You got to keep your leg because there was no reason for me to take your leg off. The, uh, the cancer has spread to your soft tissue. Oh. May have even started there and moved into your bone marrow. At this point, you know, it's easy to misdiagnose soft tissue for osteosarcoma, but removing your leg would not have helped. So, what happens now? We're going to start you on some chemotherapy. We're going to try and shrink the tumors. We're going to see how you and your cancer respond to the treatment before we try another surgery. So there'll be another surgery? Yeah. Which means that we will need someone from your family to sign off on the treatment. You know, grandmother. She won't sign off. She doesn't believe I have cancer. Maybe if I call. It doesn't matter. She hates doctors. Let's talk about this later, OK? Um, right now, is there a... Uh... Is there anybody that you want me to call? Is there anybody that you want here with you? I told you. I got no one. Let me know when we get there. If we get there. Sometimes the longest mile is the one you walk alone. Where I might find Leo Roth. All right, who ordered a stripper? Excuse me.
Excuse me? Hot nurse. It's a common stripper theme. I'll go with it. Okay. Well, for the record, I'm not sure why any of you would come here and risk alcohol poisoning, which could lead to heart palpitations and decreased urine output. How, how much for a private lap dance? I am not a stripper. Leo. Get his left side. No, Dash. It's fine. Okay. Lean, Amelia. I got you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Wait. He's not on the roof. All right, I'm calling it. People were called purple. He was at the coffee shop down the street. I tried to tell him that caffeine would stunt his growth, but you know kids, they just don't listen. Brittany. Nice job. Where's mom? Well, she's definitely not outside smoking a cigarette because she knows how much I hate that. Cute kid. Or devastatingly handsome. He reminds me of the first boy I nanny for. Sutton. You remember Sutton? You only talked about him the first six years of my life. He was a sweet kid. His parents were going through this horrible divorce when I started. I remember feeling so badly for him. You didn't feel quite as bad when you caused my parents' divorce. I didn't cause their divorce. Whatever. I know. So if mom's outside smoking a cigarette, she must be stressed. She's not going to be able to get me a new heart, is she? I don't know. So what now? Well, I'm not sure. But I do know one thing. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter, smarter than, than you think. think. Be Winnie the Poohing my ass. I'm not five years old anymore. That is true. But you'll always be my Care Bear. Good, you're back. Ellen's assistant can talk, but she's on a flight. Mom, I have to tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing for me to admit, but I feel like I need to be honest with you. What is it? I've never seen Ellen. How is that possible? <laughs> the woman is syndicated, for God's sake. And I'm sure she's fabulous, despite her unfortunate hair choices. But I feel like a hypocrite asking her to help me. I think it would be better if I just figure it out myself. Well, if that's what you want, then we're here for you. Absolutely, we are. I mean, agree to disagree, but it's your decision. For the record, I am familiar with Portia's work. Rough day, Doc? Yeah, some days are harder than others. I don't know how you do it. You know you wouldn't be in so much pain if you went to physical therapy.
that have walked home. I've been afraid that if I wore the leg, it would be like this really happened. But it did happen. It happened to you. I thought with Jordy's surgery that there would be another person here like me. This morning when I was waiting for him to come out, I wanted to be there for him. But really, I was counting on him being there for me. So I wouldn't feel so alone. You're not alone, Leo. We're all here for you. I know. But sometimes I can't feel it. I can't take it in, you know? You can't run away from your life. It's yours and it's precious. You just have to claim it. I think that's the nicest thing you ever said to me. <laughs> that's what real monkey love is. Did that sound weird because I'm still drunk or just because it's weird? Both. <laughs> Hoping you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hoping the water rises, you build to wall. Hey. Hey. Tough day? Wasn't great. Oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Sometimes you don't need to walk in another person's shoes to know how they feel. Sometimes the best thing you can do is sit beside them. One thing I've noticed about being in a hospital People lie a lot. They lie to make you feel better. They lie to make themselves feel better. They lie for fun. Lies are just one way of dealing. Got the stuff? Depends. What do you have for me? That's another. Is it the real deal? But you don't believe me, crackhead? Give it a whiff. I don't want to go to school. I just want to break the rules. Boys and girls across the world. Put it on our Dobson shoes. <laughs> She's totes into you. Said you dumped her boyfriend for your candy ass. Seriously? She talked about my ass? A paraphrase. Now where's my weed? We had a deal. Nurse Brittany's number for a joint. I'll hand it over. What the hell? That's my weed! And that's not Brittany's number, you moron! She doesn't even know that you exist! <clears throat> and then, there are the lies that you tell yourself. Like, I'm not that sick, or a little smoke won't kill me. Kara's great at those. That's not mine. See what I mean? I thought you'd never get out of there, man. Look, I just met this glaucoma dude upstairs who's looking to offload this Bubba Kush, but we gotta act fast, man. Cool, sounds good. Um, I gotta go check on Jordy first. Oh, uh, come on. You were with him all night, man. Plus, I haven't heard any cold blue alarm, so I'm pretty sure Amigo's not dead. But this deal will be if we don't book, man. Come on. Seriously, are you two starting a cancer boy band or something, man? <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Later. Oh, good, you're awake. What are you doing here? Learning out on Sudoku. I wanted to be here when you woke up so you wouldn't be alone. But if you want me to go, I can leave. No, no, don't. Why are you alone? I mean, usually when people have surgery, they're like bombarded by every random family member they have. Are you an orphan or something? I guess I kind of am. I never met my dad. My mom passed away a year ago. 
I'm so sorry. How'd she die? Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. No, it's okay. It's just I'm trying to move past it. After she died, I had to go live with my abuela, who I barely even know. Oh, but you have a grandma. So where is she? Well, she isn't exactly a believer in modern medicine. <laughs> So if no one believed you were sick, how'd you get to the hospital? I convinced my cousin to drive me. He went to a Dodgers game, never came back. Maybe the Dodgers lost? Spoken like a true Giants fan. Look, okay, everything that you just told me sucks more than I can even process right now, but if you ever want to talk. There's stumbling upon something you don't want to see, and then there's literally stumbling upon something you don't want to see. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, how's PT? Long and boring. <laughs> I should go. I can't miss my way in. Emma's pretty great, isn't she? Yeah, she is. You know, we, uh, used to be a thing. No, no, I didn't. We broke up a little while ago, but still kind of, still kind of unfinished. Oh, okay. It's all good. Cool. Thanks, man. For the record, it could not be less good. In a sense, I want to call my lawyer. Plus, also, you have to read me my rights. Fine, you have a right to remain silent. But you can't prove anything. Uh -huh. Wait, are you going to call my parents? Silent. And no, I'm not going to call your parents. I've met your parents, and they're a bigger pain in my ass than you are. Oh, but I will have the order oh, to grab you to that van if I have to. Whatever gets you off. Why are you still talking? Because I have the shakes, and not in the fun kind of way. My head is killing me, and for some reason, I'm... I'm hot, and I'm cold, and then I'm hot again. That's because you're in withdrawal. Withdrawal? Yes. You're a drug addict. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just like pills. Pills to stay up, pills to fall asleep, and pills to help me study. Your second drug test is today at 4 o'clock. And if your pee doesn't come back cleaner than a Mormon variety show, it'll be a ding against you getting a new heart. Which is why you are not leaving this room until the little man comes around with the pee jar. Well, Dr. Drew says that in order to stay sober, I need a friend. Someone to talk to. Well, you got Charlie. Um, Veggie Boy isn't much of a conversationalist. I prefer Veggie Young Adult. You're not much of a listener. This is so unfair. Everyone else gets to do whatever they want. Emma's not even sick, and she's treated like a freaking princess. Uh -huh. so all I ask is this one tiny little thing. Fine. One friend. Saving up for the big earthquake? I'm making crispy treats. Not for me, for Jordy. He's having a rough day. Thought I'd do something nice for him. Is he in kindergarten? I'm kidding. It's really nice of you. I'm in. How can I help you? You want to help? Sure. He's a fellow red bander. If he's having a rough day, I want to be there for him. Well, in that case, I could, uh, I could use some more butter. Butter? Coming right up. Why do our files look like a pride parade? These patient files are filled with so much sadness. I wanted to cheer them up with some happy labels. There's a balloon over the eye. It's called birthday font. Who doesn't love their birthday? Birthday party, birthday presents, birthday pedicure. Oh, I'm starting to wish I was never born. Good morning. Do not give me that look. Didn't sleep well last night. Oh, is that right? Dr. McAndrew, you're wearing your navy blue tie. Yes, so? So, that means you must have had sex last night. What? 
Will you wear your yellow tie for surgery and your cute mattress bow tie only comes out when your relatives visit and the blue tie means you had sex? <laughs> you told me a good nurse knows the attending physician inside and out. You check on Courtney Love recently? I'm letting that sleeping beast lie. Last time I woke her up, she screamed at me for ruining her shopping dream with Brandy from The Real Housewives. <laughs> oh, I do love that show. Seriously, though, who doesn't? Speak of the devil. Oh, my God. Hello? I'm in the middle of something. Not exactly how I imagined my first three-way, but I'm not going to lie. I'll take it. What the hell's wrong with you? You could have scarred this poor child for life. If we're reacting much, I needed something to keep my mind off of drugs. Plus, it's just sex. Or has it been so long that you've forgotten? Okay. Okay, fun and games are over. Woody Call's gonna pack up his balls and go home, and you're gonna get dressed and meet me at the nurse's station in 10 minutes. Congratulations. I'm your new sober companion. What? Mm-hmm. Hi, baby. It's not my best look. It's just a little small. My sister just sent me all these. I think this one might even be hers. I'm Leo. Emma. Nice to meet you. For what it's worth, you, uh, you have a nice head. I don't think you need any hats at all. <sighs> Looks way better on you. <laughs> you! Not even gonna ask. That for Emma? Oh, Thumbelina has an appetite? We're baking something for Jordy. Should've known. All roads lead back to the J, man. I'm working a deeper game. It's all part of my plan to get back with Emma. Since when do you want to get back with Emma? Since now. Oh, Jordy gets to keep the legs, you keep the girl? That sort of thing? You got problems, Dash, and your crap lungs are the least of them. Well, look, man, I'm all for a Steve and DJ reunion, but I'm just saying, you know, I feel like your new roommate may have other plans. I already squared things with him, and he's not moving in on her. Because he said so? No, because I said so. You're looking at the one thing in a hospital that never lies. A PET scan. Think of it like an electoral map. Right now, Red's filibustering the crap out of Jordy's leg. Okay, so what these scans are showing us is that your cancer is not an osteosarcoma. It's something called a Ewing sarcoma. What's the difference? They both start in the bone, but they're two completely different types of tumors. And for that reason, we need to treat them differently. <sighs> so when do I start chemo? Uh, well, I did go ahead and contact your grandmother in Mexico, and... Does she finally believe I have cancer? She's pretty committed to the whole demons in your leg thing. And after a lot of screaming in Spanish, she uh, wants to return you to her faith healer. Yeah, I can't go back there, Dr. McAndrew. I'm in a tough spot. I need someone from your family to sign off on this treatment. Since your mom passed away, maybe if we try and contact your dad. Great idea. I'd love to meet him. Okay. Um, all right, well, listen. Social services now has your case. They can help you figure out what your next step is going to be. I already know what my next step is. I want to become an emancipated minor so I can make my own medical decisions. Jordy, you're too young to be doing that. You can be emancipated at 14 in the state of California. No matter what happens, you're still going to be my doctor, right? You can't get rid of me that easy. All right. Although I'm leaving. Hang in there, okay? You are all set. Not to 
keep your drink on all day. Can you do me a favor? I gotta convince the doctors to give me a weekend pass. Can you just tell them my battery is fully charged? Why would I do that, Dash? You're dehydrated, and you've skipped your last two breathing treatments. Because I'm about to pull a trigger on some Sisyphus tickets in San Diego. I got some ill-ass seats. I'm just trying to surprise my boy Leo, that's all. For starters, you can't go to a concert. Music venues are petri dishes for infection. Plus, this feels like an extreme purchase. And this is coming from a girl who once spent $200 on lip liners. It's not even like that. I just thought me and Leo could use some time outside of this dungeon. Away from Jordy? Oh, Leo broke your little bro heart, huh? That's so sweet. Broke my bro? What are you, what are you talking about? It's OK. It's OK. What are you talking about? Romances can hurt just as much as regular romances. I used to have a romance with my friend Chavely. Hung out every day at Froyo Land. Broke curfew together. Star 69, anybody who pranked us. 69? Meant something much different. Simpler times, Dash, simpler times. My point is, Chavely and I were inseparable. And then Dawn Trimmer happened. Dawn, her stupid in-ground pool. Next thing I knew, I was replaced. Traded up for a pool? That's cold. But guess what? Three weeks later, Chabley caught her boyfriend skinny dipping with Dawn in that stupid in-ground pool. You know who she called to drown herself in Froyo with? Okay, so you're saying I should just let this whole thing play itself out? I'm saying you can't buy love. And real friends will always need you. Okay, first of all, I don't love Leo. And I got a hundred different ways to prove that to you whenever you're down. Okie doke. Good talk. More like 68. Do me and I owe you one. Next, we pour the butter over the marshmallows and stir slowly. You think that'd be impossible to screw up, but I've been known to burn toast. This is the doctor's lounge. No patients allowed. They're breaking the rules. Yep, that's the kind of reckless fun we get into here at Ocean Park Hospital. Is it weird to cook but not eat? Seems like it would be torture. It's actually kind of comforting. You know, it's a way to be around food, to fixate on food. To control it. I mean, not that I'm saying you're a control freak or anything. Do not start. You like comedies, but not romantic comedies. You like action movies, but not when they try to be funny. I'm specific, all right? There's a difference. Mm -hmm. We should, um, we should get these into a pan before they cool. It's just a tie, Brittany. Hmm? What? Nothing. Okay, we need to follow up with social services. I want to get Jordy started on chemo ASAP. I'm all over it. Ballpark figure. Me, uh, how long do you think Jordy will realistically be occupying my bed in this room? We are not discussing a patient's medical condition with you, Dad. I'm just saying, man. You know, I'm down to move in if Jordy somehow doesn't pull through. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll note that in your file. Hey. Hey. <laughs> You, uh, you snuck out early this morning. I wanted to avoid that awkward moment. Too late, sister. Look, I had an amazing time. But it's a, it's a little strange that you tracked me down to work. I am visiting my son. I'm sorry, who's your son? Mom? See that coming. Mm -hmm. What have they done to you? You're so thin. I'm sick, Mom. This is my doctor. <laughs> He's your doctor? Yeah. Hey, you know him? Of course I don't know him. I know nothing. Nobody tells me anything. Your abuela calls out of the blue and says something's wrong with your leg. And would I check on you? Why didn't anyone here call me? Because you're dead. Uh, we were... We were under the impression that you had passed away. 
Your son. You told him I was dead? What I meant was, she's dead to me. And just like that, Jordy's life became a telenovela. And Dr. McAndrew's sex capade became a cautionary tale. If I'm detoxing, shouldn't I be in bed? We tried that, remember? Well, for the record, spending time with you is so depressing. It makes me want to do drugs, not quit them. Oh. Well, I have just the thing to cheer you up. Um, little humans are highly overrated. How could I wait out here? If you want to sit and pout, you'll fit right in. Elsa? And who are you, the delusional snowman? You mean Olaf. You're funny. You want to play? Whatever. I have super dry hair, and I work the street so I can squirt some crack. I love this story. Yo, yeah, man. About to drop some serious knowledge, all right? Prepare your jaw to slap. Well, I can't talk now. I'm on a mission for Emma. Yo, Julia Child can wait, man. Who's that? Only the sickest lady chef in history. Whatever. I'm sort of a foodie, but... Look, we have a situation. All right, your new friend, Jordy, your uh, spirit animal, your brother from another mother? Yeah, what about him? Turns out he's a two-faced, two-legged lion sack. What the hell are you talking about, Dash? Jordy's mom is alive. It was my mother. She poisoned him against me. It's OK to leave stuff blank. Just fill out what you can. But I'm his mother. He is the fruit of my loom. I think you mean loins. Fine. What else could you possibly need to know? Uh, an address we can verify to prove that he lived with you? Live with me? <laughs> Honey, I used to call him a little barnacle. He wouldn't leave my side. I even have to take him to work with me. So you did grow up with her? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I grew up all right. It's for my fifth birthday in a casino. My sixth in a cocktail lounge in Reno. The woman is not capable of being a mother. We were so close. And every night, no matter how tired I was, I'd make sure he had a hot meal. Any hot meal I had, I made for myself. If she remembered to bring me anything, she was on a real strict liquid diet. You have every right to be upset. But whether you like it or not... You're Jordy's mom. He needs your support. So I suggest the both of you... Put the past behind you. And work it out. What if I don't want to work it out? So I'll put all of these into the system, and then you'll have to sign a bunch more forms. This is a lot of paperwork. How long is it going to be here? A week? Longer, I'm afraid. What the hell? How long does it take for a broken leg to heal? Um, he doesn't have a broken leg. Fracture, whatever. How long till I can take him home? Sorry, uh, we told Jordy's grandmother. I, I thought you knew. Jordy has cancer. No. I'm sorry. What do you mean Jordy's mom isn't dead? How do you know? Because I saw her live and in the flesh. Good flesh, if I might add. She was taught, tan. I mean, she's going in the bank. The thing I don't get is why. Why would he lie about something like that? Because he's a Ponzi scheming Decepticon. I mean, who knows what else he's lying about? You know, does he even have cancer? Is that in his real hair? It's so sad. Come again? Or the whole thing. It's tragic. How awful must Jordy's home life be for him to feel the need to lie about something like this? Can you imagine how mortified he must be now that everyone knows the truth? Dude, she's right. He must be feeling pretty bad right now. Oh. One of us should go talk to him. Make sure everything's OK. I'll do it. You shut up. Jordy? Is this 
a good time? No. Please. We need to talk. I'm so nervous. No, you're not. You have nerves of steel. You always know exactly what you want. So what's your angle this time, huh? Because I know you have one. ¿Qué quieres, mamá? Dime. Yo solo quiero estar aquí para ayudarte. You're my son. And you're sick. Sick? I have cancer, mom. Cancer. You know what that means? This isn't an earache or, or the sniffles where you can just give me some thick on limon and send me back to school. I could die. Yeah. I know how serious this is. I wish I didn't. And that's what you dumped me with. And now you want back in my life? No. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Look, I know you're angry. But maybe this happened for a reason. Maybe this is God's way of allowing us to fix things between us. You can't fix this. The only person that can help me now is Dr. McAndrew. So if you really want what's best for me, sign the papers to emancipate me, and then do what you do best. Leave. You're stubborn. That's one trait you inherited from me. But you know what? When you were little, the only way we could resolve our disagreements was with a little friendly competition. Fine. When I win, you sign the forms and leave. And if I win, I get to stick around and be your mom. Family game night just took on a whole new meaning. And one more. That's it. All done. So, what's it going to be today? Spiders or dragons? Dragon? Speaking of dragons, our friend Simmy seems to have obtained one. A yellow pill? Yeah, they bring the yellow pills just before dinner. Do you ever get the blue pills? Those come at bedtime around 9 o'clock. Perfect. I'll be by then, okay? I don't know. I like blue. For blue, you gotta bring my dolls here, too. Well, that wasn't the deal, Muffin Face. Take her, leave it, stupid thing. She's gonna leave it. Get up. Get up. Ow, ow, you're, you're hurting me. No, even for you. Taking drugs from a sick child. Well, apparently I'm a drug addict. We do whatever it takes to get high. I mean, have you ever seen Breaking Bad or can you not afford basic cable? I don't even know why I try. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, what do you care if I fail my stupid drug test? I don't. In fact, you want them? Here, here, take them. Do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm pretty sure she didn't mean that. Yo, you sure 50, man. So you had 200 on Jordy to win. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you could spot me for the rest. Spot you? Would I look like Goldman Dash? Come on, man. I'm good for it. Stop wasting my time, homie. All right? We in the hospital. You could drop dead tomorrow for all I know. Where does that leave me? I only had gallbladder surgery, and it was laparoscopic. What do you think you're doing? Just hard chilling. What's going on, man? Chilling with cold, hard cash. Cash from bets you're taking on a certain mother versus son competition? Nothing wrong with a little hustle just to, you know, keep the blood flowing. Except that gambling is illegal and immoral and against the rules. How much to get in on the action? You serious or is this some Nurse Jackson-style shakedown? Come on. Give me 50 on E. Palacios for the win. My money's on mama. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, let me down now. Baby needs a new pair of kicks. Did you talk with me, Adam. Yeah, um, do you have a minute? Yeah, yeah. So, um, just to be clear, as far as George is concerned, this thing between us... Never happened. I mean, honestly, if I'd known who you were, I care about your son, and from what he just told me... I'm sure he painted me as quite the witch. My son likes to embellish. His favorite bedtime story was Pinocchio. So, 
Why don't you tell me your side of the story? You mean how his dad hit the road the second he found out I was pregnant? I was 19. I was alone and broken in a strange country. I did what I had to do to survive. And I may not have been the world's best mom, but I'm still his mother. And if he's sick, I want to be here for him. He trusts you. Can you talk to him? Maybe tell me to give me a chance. What are you looking for? Way to get rid of my mother. <laughs> okay. Although I don't think Leo keeps shivs in there. Nope, just porn. I just need a deck of cards. <laughs> I've got a wager for my life. <sighs> Maybe your mom being here is actually a good thing. Right? She's here because she wants to help you. And honestly, you're going to do much better if she's around. Trust me, I won't. Jordy, you got a long road ahead of you. You have chemo. You have more surgeries. Research, as well as my personal experience, shows that patients have a much better chance of survival when they have someone close to them by their side. I have you. I'm not your family. So did you talk to Jordy? His mom was in there. I didn't want to bug him. Don't touch those. They must be cool by now. Oh, I thought they were for kindergartners. They are, but God, they look good. You're so impatient. Even during chemo, you used to try and speed it up by releasing the timer. You give yourself twice the dose and half the time, and then you get sick and regret it. You're right. I'm very impulsive. Trust me. I know. You're talking about us? No. Forget it. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. I was impulsive, and I broke things off, and I regretted it. You regretted it? I was an idiot. I was scared. After my surgery, I thought I was going to die. I didn't want to put you through that. That's why you think we broke up? I know that's why we broke up. I'm the one who did it. What's so funny? You're funny. You weren't afraid you were going to die, Leo. You were afraid you were going to live. No, I'm pretty sure I was afraid of dying. You dumped me because I don't fit the profile of your ideal girlfriend. I'm not blonde and popular and worried about what party I'm going to this weekend. In our real lives, you wouldn't even look at a girl like me, let alone date me. And you were afraid that if you lived, you'd be stuck with me. That's not fair. It's not true. Why can't you admit it? I liked you so much more than you liked me. I knew it. You knew it. Everyone in this freaking place knew it, Leo. That's why we broke up. I don't know what happened. She just lost it on me. What did she say? I don't even know. The whole thing made no sense. Hey. Hey, you know, you might be right about him. Say more. You know, maybe he's the problem. First, he tries to get between us, which would never happen, obviously. Obviously. Then he starts manipulating Emma, telling her some soft story about his dead mom. That's what I've been saying, man. You're right. You're right. What is going on? Hey, you want to play a game? I'm a little rusty. What game is that? Liar's poker? What's your problem? You? We trusted you. We became your friends. Now we don't even know who you are. Rule number one. Never lie to a fellow Red Bander, man. What, you think it doesn't matter? It's all that matters. So I lied. Big deal. We all lie. All right, Emma lies to get skinny. Dash lies to get pot. You lie to get out of PT. At least I lied to save my life. Kinda has a point, man. Curious what the women's side looks like? Another lie. The guy's been doing this since high school. You okay? Do 
I look okay? No. Then don't ask stupid questions. Oh, okay. Here's a better one. Why have you been torturing yourself all day? It's not like your job depends on whether Miss Thing pees clean. I messed up. So I told Kara she could invite a friend, even though I knew it was stupid, but I did it so she would shut the hell up. And then her heart monitor went off and... It's my fault. So I thought if we spent the day together, I might find one thing not to hate about her. Just need one thing. Some shred of humanity. Because right now, I hate her so damn much, I'm afraid one day I won't answer her call button just to spite her. And then maybe she really will end up dead and it'll be on me. You wouldn't do that. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. I know you, Dina. You gave up a life that most people only dream of. To be here, to help people. It's just who you are. And I'm not saying Kara isn't rotten to the core. Maybe she is. But she did do one thing right. She peed clean. Welcome to the Palacios Poker Night. As if the stakes aren't high enough, they're also playing for jelly beans. Let me know if you see the warden. Do you have any seven? Go fish. There you go. Jordy's sister really knows how to handle a deck. That's his mother. Wow. Note to self, ask about her skincare regimen. You don't mind rolling up your sleeves a little more, do you? Really? You don't trust me? Like a king without a castle, like a queen without a throne. I'm a dirty morning lover, and I must be moving on. Now, I believe in what you say. Is the undisputed truth. You sure, Jojo? Just hit me, Mom. But I have to have things my own. To keep me in my youth Like a ship without an anchor Like a slave without a chain Just a thought of those pretty ladies And it's here I threw my face I raise you five Careful You're biting your lip Don't bite your lip. That's your tell. I'm never gonna get this. Of course you will. Just try this. I can always tell when you're buffing. Good game, Mom. So, is my pee as clean as a Mormon variety show? You passed your drug test and a total criminal. Good for you. Don't you think you owe me an apology? Sweetie, it'll be a cold day in hell before I apologize to anyone for doing my job. But you did surprise me. And I'm never surprised.
Hey. Look, I'm sorry I upset you. I'm sorry, too. Why overreact? No, it was my fault. I made a lot of mistakes when we were together. But I want to make it up to you. I think we can make things work. So do I. You do. We can't stay mad at each other forever, right? I'm ready to put the past behind us if you are. Friends? Friends. That's what you meant, right? Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say. It's probably what we should have been all along, you know? Now we can be in each other's lives forever. Sure. We fell in love Right by the ocean I'll be right there. So, I hear you're sticking around for a while. It looks that way. It's the best thing for Jordy. Well, I'm very grateful he's in such a good hands. to the cafeteria and get you one of those meat pizzas? That's okay. <gasps> I know. What about some brewed beer floats? Are you seriously trying to be a mom now? Does it bother you? Can't tell yet. Hey, Jordy. Jojo, you didn't tell me you had a girlfriend. Mom. Hey. I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just... Dropping those off. Oh, that's very sweet. I'm Eva, Jordy's mom. Emma, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. That looks yummy. See you tomorrow. She actually seems kind of nice. Yeah, don't get used to it. Still trying to figure out a way to get rid of her. Maybe you shouldn't have let her win, then. I saw you fold with the full house. I don't know whether to be embarrassed or flattered that you noticed. Don't be embarrassed. Everyone wants their mom when they're sick. We fell in love. Right That's the thing about lies. Even if you're telling them for the right reasons, the person who usually winds up getting... Previously on Red Band Society. You just gave me niplash. This water is it tastes like pee. Why is it that the two most eligible bachelors can only sport wood for a bag of bones? And I broke things off, and I regretted it. I'm ready to put the past behind us if you are. Friends? Friends. Hey. Look, I had an amazing time, but it's a little strange that you dragged me down to work. I am visiting my son. Who's your son? Mom? We were under the impression that you had passed away. She's dead to me. Maybe your mom being here is actually a good thing. Research shows that patients have a much better chance of survival when they have someone close to them by their side. I hear you're sticking around for a while. It looks that way. My dad once told me that going home is never as easy or simple as we predict. Like stepping into the same river twice. You never know what awaits you when you walk through that door. Because going home means facing everything you left behind. Maybe you left glory and fame. Or maybe you left friends. Maybe you never had any to begin with. Or maybe you've simply acquired too much baggage along the way. But the thing about home is that we can't stop hoping it will always be exactly as we left it. You only brought two bags for the most important night of my life? I'm sorry. 
It's all I could carry on my bike. You can get a bigger bike. I'm going to homecoming, not a yoga class. Nobody even cares what you're wearing tonight. Everyone just misses you. <laughs> Saw that sunshine somewhere else. We both know that absence does not make the heart grow fonder. It just makes people forget about you. Luckily, my stay in this hellhole is temporary. I just need to get back to school and remind people that I'm still in charge. I'm sure it'll be perfect. Just like last year's homecoming. Oops. Now all we have to do is figure out your exit strategy. Just keep unpacking. I have my own plan dealing with Nurse Ratchet. skills my kick my dribbling leo you just started physical therapy regaining that kind of agility could take months i don't have months i got an email this morning from a stanford athletic recruiter and he says he saw me play last fall and he wants me on their team next year but he doesn't know what happened to me you know about uh, my leg if i don't have soccer i don't get a scholarship if i don't get a scholarship i don't go to college well you're walking aren't you what does that have to do with anything? It wasn't so long ago you were worried you'd never walk again. Walking is one thing. Playing Division I soccer is next level. There's no PT at Ocean Park that can train me like that. Who said you had to train in the hospital? You do some research, I'll make some calls. I seriously want to hug you right now. You'll get over it. You online shopping? I broke up with my boyfriend, so I was switching my relationship status to single. Jeez, I'm sorry, you're right. Me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm great, I'm great. So I left my friends and my family and moved out here to be with him. So what? Uh, life happens, right? Well, the best part about this job is it never stops. You immerse yourself in your work, and before you know it, you won't even remember his name. It's Ben. His name was Ben. Jordy, I'm here. Hi. Thought you're coming this morning. I know, I'm sorry, but I stopped to pick this up for you. I started Sex in the City when Samantha had cancer. Thank God for HBO. What's with your outfit? I was at a job interview. You already have a job. There's a waitress in Fresno. Pretty tough commute to LA, huh? Mom, you don't have to. Look, when you get out, we'll have an apartment, I'll have a great job, and this whole ordeal will just be a blip on our radar. And <laughs> what if I never get out? You will. You don't know that. Yes, I do. How? Because I am your mother and I said so. So, let me do the worry. You just focus on getting better, okay? Last time you flexed your jaw muscles. Yeah. Why aren't you eating with your Rexo friends over there? They're not my friends. What do you want? I'm just wondering, who gets the rose on the latest episode of Cancer Bachelor? Is it Latino heartthrob Jordy or the hometown favorite Leo? Well, not that it's any of your business, but I'm not into either of them. Fine. I'm just saying, you know, don't mess with my boy Leo's head like that. You have an unhealthy interest in Leo's dating life. I'm just inquisitive. Inquisitive. In love with him. Call it whatever you want. 
If I was in love with him, I'd be clear about it. Because men are direct. What's up, ladies? Say something I could potentially never live to see another homecoming again, which would be among the world's greatest tragedies, second only to the Titanic or Nicki Minaj's perfume, a menagerie, or... Me and Ben breaking up. Here's Jackson. If I don't go to this homecoming, I just... <laughs> and the Oscar for the most pathetic performance in a pediatric ward goes to... Here, save the tears for your homecoming queen acceptance speech. Wait. Does that mean I can go? This is a hospital, not a prison. Yes, you can go. The heart monitor, the chaperone. Okay, this I can work with, but there's no way I'm going to homecoming with you. How will I ever recover from such a crushing blow? Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. You can go, Brittany. <gasps> oh, my God. This is the Vegas buffet. Mm. Is that for Jordy? You want one? I brought you some reading materials. Now that we've identified Jordy's cancer as Ewing sarcoma, you might want to educate yourself on his condition. Right. Also, there's a parent support group you should look into. And I'd like to get a blood sample from you as soon as possible. It might be useful down the line before his next surgery. Th there's going to be another surgery. At least one. Possibly more. It's all in the pamphlets. You don't like me, do you? I like your son. Well, I'm sorry I missed the beginning of all this, but I'm here now. And I really appreciate your help. What do you say? The support group meets at 7 p.m. in the commissary. Is everything okay in there? What do you think? It's... It's pink. That's putting it kindly. Too much pink? It's kind of like staring at the sun. Every time I blink, I see spots. <sighs> Dr. McAndrew is right. Immersing yourself in your work is the best way to go. Plus, I just love homegoings, don't you? I wouldn't know. I have never been. This may come as a shock to you, but I wasn't exactly popular at my high school. Well, it does come as a shock to me. I can't imagine anyone not liking you. Well, lucky me, I don't have to imagine it. I lived it on a daily basis. And things are better here? Definitely. Yeah, much better. Ooh. What is happening to your face? I am having a light bulb moment. You should come with me to homecoming. A hard pass. I would much rather stay here and stare at the walls. That's what I'm worried about. I think you're getting too comfortable in the hospital. At some point, you're gonna have to get back out there. This could be a good way to ease back into the social scene. Going to a dance where I won't know a single soul. You'll know Kara. You'll know me. I think it would be good for you. Would you have any medical statistics to back up this theory? I'm not saying this as your nurse. I'm saying it as your friend. Take it, I don't have much of a choice. Nope. Have you heard of the one about the nurse, the anorexic, and the cheerleader that all walk into a homecoming? Me neither. So the closest Paralympic center with the equipment I need to train is in Chula Vista. It sounds like a donut, not a place. It's also three hours away. I know, I can't get there once a month, let alone a few times a week. Well, that's a good thing you don't have to. Excuse me as I geek out, but I'm a giant fan of the Bionic Man. Ty stands for titanium, because that's what his leg's made out of. It's the strongest element in the world. No offense, Nurse Jackson, but I'm gonna need more than a YouTube video to get back into shape. Ty spent two months on our floor when he was about your age. That was before he played college ball at UCLA and then went pro in Europe. I spoke to him this morning. You know Tim Ty Jones. Starting next week, he's agreed to come to the hospital to train you. Seriously? That's incredible. You're welcome.
novel immunohistochemistry. Techniques in cancer diagnosis. Casual afternoon reading? First, Jackson gave this to me to get caught up in Georgie's condition. That's not getting caught up. That's what I read in my third year of oncology residency. No kidding. I didn't know I had to go to medical school to be a mother. You don't. It kind of feels like it. I'm turning my whole life upside down to be here for my kid, but nobody wants me. Jordy wants you, and you are going to get through this, right? One day at a time, like every other parent in here with a sick kid. I promise you. Now, let me borrow this for a bit. <sighs> hey, was this really necessary? Can't a woman enjoy the simple pleasure of getting her back rubbed by a chair? I have so little. Just do me a favor. We just lay off Eva Palacio. She's got enough to worry about without you hunting her for sport. Um, I was trying to educate her. And maybe if you stop listening, little McAndrew, you'd realize that woman isn't to be trusted. I am not listening with little McAndrew. All right, I'm listening to Jordy. Jordy wants his mother around. Jordy needs his mother around. Yeah. My gut tells me. That woman is bad news, and my gut is never wrong. I'm not saying she's perfect. I'm just saying she's trying. Well, maybe she should have tried harder while she was raising him. Except she didn't raise him, did she? No, she dumped him off at Grandma's so she could do whatever she wanted. Do you know how many people would kill for the opportunity to raise their own child? The things that people will sacrifice just for the privilege of having a boy like Jordy. And that woman just gave him up like it was nothing. People make mistakes. It doesn't mean I have to forgive them. It must be nice to always be so right about everything, huh? It's my cross to bear. I think it's time that I mention I got myself an obsession for the smell, for the touch. That's right. I know I've got myself a habit, but I gotta have it now. Don't care where, work it out Let me break it down I try on, I take it off So what you got? Something about boots and boys doing here? Surprise! We're all going to homecoming together. <laughs> not a chance. I'm not going with Hoka hot mess. I told you this was a bad idea. Do not let her get under your skin. Oh, well, how could I? I would have to get past all the peach fuzz first. Oh, my God, is it on your stomach, too? Are you all furry like a bear? Okay, say one more mean thing, and we're leaving without you. Hello? It's my school. Hello? I don't care. Wh oh, but she doesn't even... What? Okay, fine. Can we just go already? God. <laughs> Slow your roll, Skeletor. Just because I let you come with me does not mean that we've joined the Sisterhood of the Traveling Panties. Starting now, we're complete strangers. For the record, I want to be here about as much as you want me to be here. Probably less. That's not humanly possible. Can you just wait until Brittany's finished parking the car? I'm sorry, do I know you? Uh, full disclosure, I stole this out of a dead guy's room. Shall we? Here. Why are you here exactly? 
I thought you could use a friend. Yeah, this is so not my scene on every possible level. Even if it was my school, I... Oh, but it is, really. When you think about it, isn't every high school the same, you know? I mean, where would you be right now? Probably there. Honestly, I would be looking at my phone as if I were sending an important text. But really, I would just be reading my book. You would be reading a book at a dance. The Goldfinch is a literary masterpiece. Yeah, but it's, it's a dance. The woman won a Pulitzer. I say it again, it's a dance. Moving on. I can assume you would be somewhere over there? In that vicinity, but uh, always looking over my shoulder. Looking for the next best thing? No, looking for something real. I'm thirsty. How about I go get us some refreshing, nutritious, calorie-free bottles of water? Sounds like a plan. Dude, you suck at this. You have no poker face whatsoever. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. I call. Whatever, man. This game is stupid. Hey, here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. What, what are you still doing here? I have a parents' meeting tonight. How are you feeling, Jojo? Not great, but on the upside, I haven't puked yet. Then why don't you have fun while you still up for it? Go to the movies with your friend. Have some popcorn, buy some ices. Do whatever you want. Seriously? Better take this before I change my mind. Dude, your mom's kind of awesome, man. You hear that? Easy. I'm kind of awesome. All right, all right, let's go. You gonna be here when I get back? I got nowhere else to be. Exactly like Beyonce's Caucasian little sister. Yeah, really close. Of course, but there are much more pressing matters we need to discuss. Wait, <gasps> what the hell? Did you not tell Quimby I was wearing sequins? I texted everyone. I thought this is exactly what I was talking about. Things are already spiraling way out of control. Okay, but we really need to I talk. I can't talk right now. I need to go in there and assert my power. This is what you call a knife fight in Beverly Hills. First blood to the blonde. I totally ruined your dress. I hope you brought an extra one. Kara Souters. Yeah, you look amazed. Guys, look at she look amazed. Okay, this is weird. Welcome back, girlfriend. It's good to be back, bitches. And all is right in Kara's world. Or is it? Yo, Ross. <laughs> Dave, what up? You're alive. Last time I checked. Hey, it's good to see you, dude. Yeah. You look... Bald? Yeah, but cool bald. Okay. Sorry if that came out weird. It's just <laughs> I haven't seen you since, um... Cancer? Uh, I was going to say Modesto Nationals. Oh, right, when I make you for the win in overtime, yeah. So what are you doing here? Are you going to come to the school next semester? No, I'm uh, just crashing with some friends from the hospital. I didn't realize you were still sick. I'm not. I'm stronger than ever. I'm just getting a few kinks worked out of my new leg. And I should be uh, back on the fields by playoffs. Cool. Yeah, your team can really use some of your, uh, your, uh, your fighting spirit. My spirit? <laughs> Dude, what about my corner kicks? Yeah, sure, those too. Yeah, I'm glad your team made a place for they you. They didn't make a place. My team saved my space so that they could watch me humiliate you in front of your team, like I did last season. It's great seeing you. Can we talk to you for a minute? Am I sitting in your seats? I'm so sorry, I can move. Oh my god. She looks even better when she stands. What? Well, it's just that we've never seen a size triple zero before in the flesh. You're a real unicorn. Rare and beautiful. Thank you. So what's your secret? Two cardi classes on Wednesday, bought a boot camp, visual eating on Monday, green juice on Friday, and no food on Sundays? No, actually, I, um, 
I was diagnosed with an eating disorder. I live at Ocean Park Hospital. You're so committed. I just don't have the discipline for that. We need to get a picture. <gasps> you are gonna be insta-famous. Okay. Smile. Uh, with friends like these, Emma might be better off sitting alone. Hey man, you all right? Oh, chemo is gnarly. I feel like ass. Hey, man. At least they got you in a regiment unless you keep all your head. Like our bald friend, Leo. <laughs> Homeboy looks like Professor Xavier or something, man. <laughs> He's even got the wheelchair. Oh, snap. <laughs> Speaking of Leo, well, actually, Emma and Leo, how you feel about that whole sitch, man? Ah, uh, that's why you've been hanging out with me today. You're not interested in being my friend. You're interested in protecting your friendship with Leo, and you're trying to get dirt on me for him. Nah, man, look, I got no problem with you. I'm just trying to get a lay of the land, that's all. All right, well, the lay of the land is... My life is weirdly stable for the first time in basically forever. My mom's around, and I have friends that I actually like, including you. I'm not about to ruin that over a girl. Cool. Bro code. Red band code. Mm -hmm. It must be weird having your mom come around and be old mom when you after you know you've been on your own. Yeah, that's kind of what she does. Being a mom for her is like going on a camping trip. <laughs> No, I'm serious. She gets all excited and buys all the equipment, and then two days into it, she wishes that she was back in the hotel. She came around when you needed her most. Seems to me like she really wants to go camping, bro. You better have some good popcorn here, or else I'm going home. Oh my gosh, you're here. I just want to thank you for being such an inspiration. I'm glad we could put the past behind us now. I'm sorry, I don't know why you think it's okay to be talking to me. I love you so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Someone needs to go break the rest of the bent girl's spine because she literally just raped me. You mean Anna? Poor thing, she's been through so much. Just like you. Just like who? Here's where it all goes dark. Also, she's been super helpful with your presentation. What? What presentation? Okay. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I can give you a sneak peek. Kara is the kindest, most generous, patient human I've ever met. It's such a tragedy that this had to happen to her. She was so beautiful, and her heart is so broken. I mean... What? Why? Kara was loved by ballets and old people and homeless people and all people. Why are you doing this? Because you're really sick and you might die. We feel super duper bad for you. What? And just like that, it went from a homecoming party to a pity party. Let me take care. Bye. Hey. Hey, did, uh... Did you give Jordy permission to go to the movies? Not only did I give him permission, I gave him $50. Who told you you can do that? You, can, you can't just let a sick kid walk out of a hospital. <sighs> I seem fine. He's not fine. He has cancer. He has a million different chemicals coursing through his body. He needs rest. I, next time you want to do something nice for him, just consult with me first. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know. All right, it's okay. It's okay. I know it's been a long day, all right? He sure has. In fact, he has a drink. Are you interested? <sighs> no, I, I have rounds. It's okay. What time do you get off? Eva, I thought we both agreed that this can't happen again. But you keep sending me mixed signals. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't... Let's keep the focus on Jerry, okay? <laughs> yeah. uh, I understand what you were trying to do mm -hmm. today, trying to make him happy. Things are gonna get harder before they get easier. Right? There's not always gonna be a quick fix, all right? Why don't you be his doctor and let me be his mother? Stupid.
so many cute couples. <laughs> Coming is obsessed with me and my heart problem. What's wrong with that? I thought you liked being the center of attention. Yeah, not this kind of attention. I used to walk down these halls like I was freaking Moses. The crowd would part at my feet, but now everyone is coming up to me and talking to me, hugging me. You know that's because they care about you. <sighs> Screw that noise. I'd rather be feared than loved. <laughs> Who are you, Tony Soprano? I mean, come on, what kind of philosophy is that? Look, you might get off on being Mr. Cancer Boy, bald, poster child, legless man, but the one thing I'm not okay with is being pitied. <laughs> Greetings, fellow Vikings. It is with great honor and humbleness, Eddie, that I announce Paradise Cove High's 2014 homecoming queen, Kara Souders. <laughs> I can walk. Actually, for insurance purposes, we're going to need you to go ahead and take a seat. Not quite the chariot she was expecting. Oh, How's it going? Fine. I know I've flooded you with material. So if you have questions, I'm happy to walk you through anything. Do you think I'm some kind of moron? Just trying to help. Hmm. I'm sorry if I came across harsh earlier. Harsh? Lady, I can handle harsh. What I can't handle is condescending a rude. Tell me, do you have any kids of your own? I don't. But I do what I can for the kids here at the hospital. You might be a great nurse, but you don't know what it's like to be a mother. I don't need anybody's help. Hi. Where have you been? Hi, I just met these girls. This is Brooklyn, and that's Becky. Hi, how you doing? Okay. You smell like smoke. Brooklyn smokes, and I went outside with her. So. Welcome, students, to Paradise Cove's most heartfelt crowning ceremony yet. I ask you what makes a queen? Courage, fearlessness, kindness, and an acne-free complexion. Kara Stouders is all of these things, but what is most special about Kara is her heart. And before we crown her queen of our hearts, Paradise Cove Spirited Cheer Squad has put together a tribute video to honor Kara. Hey, hold on uh, one sec. I gotta, um, I gotta say something. I know how you feel. Once you start to love, it's hard to stop. Come on up here, son. A few words on Kara Sabers. I've only known her for five days. But what I've learned is that five days with Kara is five days too many. Because Kara is the biggest bitch I've ever met in my entire life. It's true, she's, she's not a queen, she's a dictator. Cold, selfish, tyrannical. She does not deserve your compassion, and most of all does not deserve this crown. The thing about being a hero, you're not supposed to rescue more than one damsel in a night. This is an embarrassment of riches, man. Swear. Oh, well, Jamin, you okay? I don't know, man. I don't feel good. Just wait right here. I'm gonna go get you some water. No, don't. don't. Jordy? Jordy. Jordy, are you okay, honey? Come on. Oh, my God. Something's really wrong with him. I've never seen him like this. It's the chemo. 
This is just one of the side effects. Those stupid pamphlets you gave me said he wouldn't be sick in the first 24 hours. Well, that is often true. But no two cases are the same. We can never predict how someone's body's going to react. How long would this last? Could be as long as his chemo regimen. Thank you. I'll get you some more towels. just friends, the rule is you dance with the girl you brought. Are you sure you don't want anything? One of the blankets, some snacks. No, I'm, I'm good. Just sit with me. Ginger ale, the carbonation might be good for your stomach. Mom, I don't want ginger ale. Maybe not now. For later. I'll be right back, okay? Translation, I'm super pissed at you. We didn't say much on the drive back. Why did you go up there and defend Kara? Because she was having a bad night. She deserves a bad night, Leo. She's a bad person. Maybe, but no one deserves to be pitied. You don't understand that because, well, no one pities you, Emma. You don't have to be in this hospital. You don't have to be here. Previously on Red Van Society. You're him. You're Charlie's dad. My dad was with me when I had my accident, and he lost his visitation rights. It's really complicated. No one deserves to be pitied. You don't understand that because, well, no one pities you, Emma. You don't have to be in this hospital. Speaking of Leo, or Emma and Leo, how do you feel about that whole shit, man? My life is weirdly stable for the first time in forever. My mom's around. Not about to ruin that over a girl. Jordy's mom left last night. She is relinquishing guardianship. He's officially on his way to becoming an emancipated minor. Which is just a fancy word for a loan. Housing the homeless now? What the hell is your story, Coma Boy? I'm so glad you finally asked. This is me three years ago. Check out my brainwave activity, right? I'm obsessed with this game my dad made up. Gammaverse. Say cheese. I know, happy times. Snooze fest. Let's get to the good stuff. <laughs> this is me four months ago, AKA the night everything went dark. He's fine, babe. Are you seeing the level of sugar intake that's going on over there? He's gonna be wired all night. He's having fun. You're having fun. 
He should be asleep in an hour. And since I'm the one who has to get up with him in the morning. Only because I've got to be at work early. I'm sure Susan can drive me home. Yeah, that's fine. Dad! Oh, we have to get this game, okay? It, 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 there's these aliens and you, like, blast them and their guts are all nasty. But it's not violent, I swear. We'll see, buddy. Come on, we're going to meet Mom at home. Thanks. Wait, we're leaving already? Why? Because I'm the grown-up and I say so, that's why. Grown-ups are such buzzkills. Exhibit A, Jordy Social Worker. There are some aspects of adulthood that may be daunting and somewhat disappointing. A lot of kids in your position think that growing up is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're rolling like Pharrell up in here. What I mean to say is, emancipation seems like an appealing option. But it is my job to make you aware of your responsibilities. Things that your parents always dealt with, like filing tax returns or keeping a clean credit history. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my mom never did any of that stuff. Hey, you can get a credit card. That's kind of cool. It is good to establish credit, but it can also lead to a mountain of debt, which would be bad. Well, what kind of debt are we talking about exactly? Do you mean the billions of dollars of debt the Fed is selling every day at absurdly low rates to keep our economy artificially afloat? Or are you referring to more of a personal kind of debt? In which case, a uh, good rule of thumb is your total monthly debt payments shouldn't exceed 15 to 20 percent of your take-home income. I'd be happy to set you up in any number of group homes with minors in similar situations. I don't need a home. I have people who care about me. Unfortunately, the same people also believe that cancer can be cured by farm animals. So as far as my medical decisions go, I have to be in charge. I need to do this myself. What else? Mr. Cobb, glad to finally get you on the line. Oh, no, no fault of Gloria, sir. She's a peach. But I was hoping to have a meeting at your home office. You're still on 10504 Wilshire Boulevard, correct? Dash. We're looking all over for you. Ah, uh, my associate just walked in. Gonna have to call you back. What's up, Doc? I got great news. You're getting your pager. A pager? What is he, a pimp from the 90s? Does not concern you, Kara. Well, then talk quieter. So I moved up on the list. Yes. Once you're done with your tune-up, you're going to go home. You're going to wait for that pager to beep. And when it does, you come back here, and we are off to the races. Sure. I don't think you was just going to come in here and tell me there was butterscotch pudding today. You came in here on a whole other level. That's what I do. Congrats. Uh, what's a tune-up? Is it like a nip-tuck? You have a dry erase face. What kind of list are you on? Organ donor. The only list that matters in here. What do you need an organ for? Don't you have, like, cystic acne or something? Nope. I'm having this conversation. Doing here. Today's not one of your days, James Taylor. Not once have I played a James Taylor song. I'm just nudging you towards what I think might be your comfort zone. Uh, now listen, you need to go home now. I can't be here tomorrow. My shift's changed. Does it really matter? Of course it matters. I keep tabs on who goes where when because there's always a why. Understood? Mandy is here. Why? What's happening? She's supposed to be working today. Yes, she is, isn't she? Normally, Mandy works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and her graveyard shifts are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with alternating Mondays off. I know these things for a reason. Now get your ass home. They're coming today, aren't they? Who's they? Oh, them. Crap. I'll call you when it's safe to come back. I promise. What's up with Charlie's dad? How did you? I'm late for rounds. Wait. Was that tragic waitress who was crashing in my room last night Snooze Doggy Dog's mom? 
Shut it down, Kara. Okay? Today is not the day. You understand me? And why is today different from all other days? Manish Tanazi? Awesome thing number 374 about Nurse Jackson. Not only does she look out for me, she also looks out for my dad. Good morning, little man. How you feeling today? Oh, not so good. I think I'm gonna hurl. Oh, that's what happens when you chase four bowls of ice cream with three cans of soda. Just take deep breaths. Oh, buddy, hey, you okay? I'm sorry, Dad. No, it's okay. Just lie down if you need to. I can't really see that it, it, it's stuck. Okay. We're almost home, okay? We're almost there. Like I said, everything just went dark. FBI. Am I being audited? Uh, good morning. Can I help you? John Fisher, Sean Fahey, here to assess Charlie Hutchison. They're back. Oh, that makes more sense. Right this way. Hey. Remember this? So does Emma. Emma. Emma, wait up. Oh, Emma. Leo. Just the people I'm looking for. First edition of Miss Dalloway. Thought you would enjoy. I will enjoy it, but why are you giving it to me? Because I can't take it with me when I go. Oh, my God, you're dying? Eventually. But for now... I am going to India. I've had a vision, children, of the eat, pray, love variety. I know I'm late to the Elizabeth Gilbert party, but boy, can that dame spin a yarn straight from Woodstock. What? I can't take this. I insist. I'm leaving each of you a small token to remember me by. Now, where is Jordy? I have a puka shell necklace with his name on it. He's in his room, but um, I'm not sure that now's the best time. He's got a social worker in there with him talking about tax returns and all this other grown-up stuff. Frankly, the whole thing sucks. It does suck. To willingly embrace adulthood, no small thing. But not everything about being a grown-up has to suck. Yeah, come with me. We're not doing drugs now. No, it's my off day. Nonetheless, come with me. What disease do you have that gets you on the organ donor list? Because if we're competing for hearts, I need to know. First of all, if we were competing for anything, I would win. Luckily for you, I have cystic fibrosis. I need lungs. For what? For the same reason you need lungs? I repeat, for what? Okay, so you know when you're screaming at a cheerleader for kicking too high and she starts to cry and snot starts to run down her face and you could get her a Kleenex, but you don't because you don't give a crap? Yeah, so with me, my snot, it's like concrete. If it gets stuck, I can't breathe. If my mucus doesn't move, I drown to death. Right. So you're on the organ donor list, to which I'm not invited, which is reprehensible. I mean, I walk two feet down Sunset Boulevard and I automatically get on lists that don't even exist yet, but whatevs. The point is, what am I doing wrong? You must know something. 
I know lots of things. And clearly, you know lots of things. Meaning what? Meaning I can help you, but first you're gonna need to help me. Fine. But you have to use a condom. This is a list of residents that live at 10504 Wilshire Boulevard. It's luxury condominiums. Do you know anyone on this list? That depends. Is this like a grassy knoll situation? I need to get into the building. If you could get me in, we could continue this conversation. So that's how this works. That's how it works. Are these his most recent laps? Um, that's correct. If you look at Thursday,